Hi everyone, hope you're all ticky to be. This is what's arrived. It's a wireless video and image transmitter that goes directly to your phone, so there's no need to use a monitor. Let's cue that intro. So it's a Benbox dual band wireless video transmitter. I'm gonna do a brief overview of them and tell you what you get in the box and give you some of the highlights. And on the face of it, it looks a pretty awesome piece of kit. Plus, it's lightweight, it's well priced, it's got built in antennas, so you've got none of those dangly bits hanging around, a built in battery as well. Everything's in one nice, neat little package, and on the face of things, it looks really well built. Oh, behave. <laughs> All I'm going to do today is an unboxing so you can see what you get in there, give you my initial impressions of it, you know, the quality of the piece of kit itself, how well it is to fit, you know, how it goes onto the camera, and things like that. Give you a brief overview of it, start the app up, have a quick look at that. And what I'll do is get out in the field over the weekend and give it a real life, proper stringent test. But none of that technical mumbo jumbo, just a real life, honest test on it. And then you lot can make your own minds up. Right, let's get this little black box open. Well, actually it's a white box, but it's got a lovely little cute black box inside. Let's get on with it. So it's nicely packaged. The box itself are really well done and it feels quite lightweight. Let's open it up. Oh, that's nicely fitted. And there she is. It actually feels really lightweight, especially compared to the Zion one. And it does look really good quality. I like this black iodizing on here. And looks like there's the HDMI in. And I suppose that would be the charging cable. And that there will be the control mechanism for your camera, I would expect. Right, let's see what else is in the box then. So, little instruction leaflet. I'm sure I'll read that. Not. And, oh. Quite a few cables in here. So I think we've got every single cable you can think of. You have to get your HDMI cable, obviously, but we've got a mini USB one there. We've got the uh, Sony one there. We've got the Type-C one there, which I'll need for the Canon, and micro USB, and then one for Panasonic. So basically, I'm not gonna need that one, that one, that one, or that one. So let's put them out of the way, and the box, and we'll get the camera out. Now it's got a nice hot shoe on here, as you can see. And again, that feels really good quality, nicely put together. So we'll get it on the camera in a sec. Um, what I'm not gonna do today is show you it working, but let's give you a few bits of um, information on it before getting into the camera. So it says here it's got a transmission distance of up to 100 meters. That's with no blocking or interference. So we'll give that a good test. Um, it also works at 1080p at 60 frames, 50 frames, 30 frames, 24 frames, and 25 frames per second. That's pretty good. The app itself, I've got to download that, but it says it works here on iOS 8 and also Android 6 and above. So it, the weight of it, 120 grams. That's pretty light. Right, so let's get it on the camera. So how easy is it to connect? Let's have a look. So we've got here, yeah, the old uh, hot shoe working there. So she would just slot straight onto there, like so. Then I've got the HDMI mini here for um, my Canon, which goes into there. And this is a bit of an overkill, I know, but it's the only cable I had to hand. So that one fits into there. And then you get this one for the actual USB interface, which will go from there and into the camera itself on the side. So I would say that is it all pretty well set up. Right, I'll go into the actual thing itself in more detail with a full review, but just to show you it working, uh, the first thing you do is connect to the Wi-Fi. So you go onto there, you go onto your Wi-Fi settings. I've already done this one. All right, and make sure you're connected to a Ben box and it'll have its own little number on there. The password itself is pretty um, easy to remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next thing you need to do is actually open up the actual app and it's called IK and it's orange. I've already downloaded it. As you can see, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, the, the fixings on there and everything else I haven't gone into in too much detail. I want to give it a good test run. But to show you it all working, first of all, we just press play. I think it should just fire up. And it's taking a few seconds. And there we are. Let's flip it up there so you can see the camera above. There we go. So that's it, all working nicely. 
And to be honest here, I think this is gonna be pretty sweet. So there you go, a quick look inside the bolts and a quick setup of the gear itself. The app itself hooked on straight away, so it's quite easy to use. And my initial thoughts on it, to be honest with you, on the face of things, I'm quite impressed. The app itself was really easy to set up and it responded well, but I will leave my final thoughts and recommendations until I've given it a good going over at the weekend. Stay safe, having fun making stuff. Keep smiling. Cheers and gone. Oh, oh, oh.